Welcome everyone to a brand new show we're debuting tonight, College Football Game Night, the Longhorn Edition. It's an online game show putting your favorite Longhorn personalities in a battle of Texas football knowledge and wits. And I'm your host today, Blake Monroe, and let's introduce our players. And we'll start with Bobby Burton. Bobby, how are we feeling tonight? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I listened uh, to some uh, music to get me ready for this. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I didn't get dressed up like Jerry Hamilton, that's for sure. I was about to say, next up is the man that's dressed to kill, Jerry Hamilton. Jerry, you dress for the occasion, man. There ain't no doubt about that. Well, look, man, uh, Deion Sanders said, look good, feel good, play good. I'm going to do everything but the play good. Uh, but uh, I look good and I feel good. But look, I, you know, I get dressed up for three things, a wedding, Divorce court and Longhorn trivia. Okay, so that's it. If I'm going to finish third in trivia, I've got to be best dressed. There you go. And last but not least, we have Rod Babers joining us. Rod, how you feeling going up against these two guys? Uh, man, I'm feeling all right. I like to compete, but uh, game shows and quiz and quiz games, that kind of stuff. I don't know if it's my thing, but hey, man, let's compete, baby. If I'm here. I'm here to win. Hey. I know. It's first time for all of us, so so we'll see. Yeah. We'll see who's hey, going to be victorious Blake, Blake, Blake. in the end. Hey Blake, hey, Blake there's a lot on the line. There's a lot on the line for Bobby tonight. Okay, just everybody <laughs> be clear about this. Hey, got it right here, Terry. Got it right there here. Does Bobby have to use it? Or does he have to use it no. if he loses? <laughs> I have to read it. Oh man. Uh, All right, well, we're going to explain the, the format of, of how we're going to do this, guys. There's going to be three rounds or game segments. Each one is a different type of game. The players will accumulate points through each of the games. And, of course, whoever finishes with the most points after all rounds are complete is our college football game night champion. So with that said, if y'all are ready, let's get started with round one. Round one. And so in this segment, players are going to be given four hints describing a current or former Texas player or coach. Players will buzz in when they want to guess. Questions are going to be worth 100 points. If you miss, gentlemen, you will lose 100 points. Ow. With that said, let's see hint number one. So it's who am I when a 12th man on the field is okay. Let's see hint number two. A stinging loss. And Bobby buzzes in. Bobby, what you got? I'm going to go Colt McCoy, 2008, Texas Tech. <laughs> so Colt McCoy is the correct answer. You win that one. Bobby got it right. 100 points for Bobby Burton. Nice, Bobby. Good job. Hey. <laughs> You no, know, the twelfth man. You know, you gotta, you gotta look for that. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's right. I got, the, I got the jersey number. So, Bobby jumping out to the early lead. With that said, let's go to question number two. Let's see the first hint. A hero we don't deserve on fourth down. Hint number two. Austin City Nimitz. Oh, how do I block? How do I buzz? <laughs> buzz. We'll give you time to buzz. I don't have a buzz Click on the buzz button. Click on the buzz button. The play, the play thing. Or hit your space bar. Third hit. Hit your space bar, Jerry. What's my third hit? We waiting on Jerry. <laughs> I'm about to hit that. What's the third hit out here? Come on. Jerry, I might have to move on to the third hand while you figure it out. I know. Hold on, hold on. Our producer's telling us no. Hold on. Third clue. You have to be on the Streamer Showdown website. Too, yes, Jerry. Streamer Showdown website there, Jerry. Hey, man. Hey, listen, it's a competition now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you. Hey, Are you ready to buzz in yet? All right, here, man. <laughs> go, go ahead. I'll take a loss on this. 
There we go. Jerry, they buzzed in for you. <laughs> so, Jerry, we we're going to let you answer this. Who you got? Uh, oh, it's, it's Michael Huff against USC. That is correct. <laughs> you oh, eventually got there. Go. Michael Huff. Yeah, Jerry got yeah. it right. 100 points. Okay, so let's move on to question number three and show us hint number one. Yes. Oh, let's go ahead and go through the rest of the hints. So we'll go to hint number three real quick. I'm sorry. Excuse me. So let Bear in his digit. And then hint number four. All right, I would have got on that one. See, that's good. That's good. I'll blank and puff and blow oh, it's nice. your path up. Oh, that would have been too easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, we're going to move on. Mm. Okay. All right. So let's move on All to right. the next one here. Question number three. And show us hint number one. I listen to some hard country beats. Hint number two. They call me an outlandish performer. Hint number three. My laugh launched a thousand bow meanings. Oh, I tried. What? 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 Hold up. And Rod buzzes on, in. What do you got for us, Rod? Okay, my laugh launched a thousand bowmen. Is it Devontae Sweat? T Sweat. Let's see if that's correct. Oh, you got it right. Yeah. <laughs> 100 Good points, for Rod. Rod. Right. Roll the board. Let's go. <laughs> and let's see that fourth and final hint. I'm a KD stand. So it's that always wasn't that easy, actually. Kevin Durant. That, that wasn't <laughs> that so. You had to know that he was the one that laughed at Bo Davis on the bus, pretty much. Yeah. Hey, those are great, hey, those are great clues. Performance. Those are great clues. Huntsville, Texas, country guy. Yeah, it all makes sense. It does make <laughs> sense. You're right. Anyone all right, we're going to move on. On the outland. That's the yeah. outlandish. That's right. Uh, yes. Good job, Bobby. Good job. Yeah. You got it. Right, we're going to move on to the next question, guys. Show us hint number one. The price is eight for me. Hint number two. Pulling hair isn't just for cat fights. Hint number three. Prefers the graph. And the final hint, fellas. The holistic Heisman. Oh, give it to me. Rod buzzes in first. What do you got for us, Rod? Hey, that's Ricky Williams. Oh, Is it Ricky Williams? Oh, oh, oh. oh God. You got it right, Rod. Right. 100 points. Rod is now our me? leader. What, where did that come from? What is that? Well, what is that? Did you guys see that one? Oh, eight, eight, pick the draft. eight picks. Yep. Oh, eight, eight picks, picks in the draft for him. Oh, God, oh that's good. That yeah. <laughs> I didn't even get that. Actually, I didn't even. I didn't even get the first one. I didn't get the first clue at all. I, that was right over my head. <laughs> so, after the first four questions, Rod, you are the leader with two hundred points. We're going to move oh. on to the fifth question now, and show us hint number one. Led the team in tackles. Hint number two. Half of a great Texas duo. And Jerry buzzes in. I thought Jerry would be the first one on this one. What you got for us, Jerry? Casey Hampton. Casey Hampton. That was good. Jerry got it right. 100 points nice. for Jerry. 
Tied for first with Rod. Let's see the hit number three. A baller from Galveston and hit number four. A man of steel. Yeah. Play for the Steelers. So, there you go. I, yep. I, Jerry, I thought you'd be the, the one to answer this one the, at first. So lo and behold, you are. I missed this. I got to go kill one. I can take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry's going to start sweating pretty soon, Jerry. You're going to be sweating, man. <laughs> I, yeah. If I don't start answering things right, I am. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to move on to the sixth question now and show us hint number one. An all American hero. Hint number two. A Redskin times two. Jerry with the buzz. What do you got, Jerry? Man, I may, may lose some points here. I was going Brian or Akpo. Ooh. No, definitely. is it Brian Arakpo? Yeah, good job. Oh, there you go. Jerry Hamilton got it right. Another 100 points. You take the lead now with 300 points. Let's go ahead and look at the other two hints here. Show us the third one. Good job, Jerry. The Nigerian nightmare for quarterbacks. And the good fourth one, one Life of Brian. So good guess there, Jerry. It paid off for you. You're now back in the lead with 300 points. We're out of a 200. Bobby with 100. So let's go to the next question now. And show us hint number one. He has an official family. Show us hint number two. Best hands on his team. Number three, prefers the yellow condiment. Bobby buzzes in first. Bijan, what you got for us, baby. Bobby Burton? Bijan, baby, mustardson. <laughs> Bijan, oh, let's see good. if it's Bijan. That's good. Good job. You got it right, Bobby. 100 points. Well done. <laughs> I figured y'all would get it on that one. Let's see the fourth and final hint. A Lambo worthy smile. So, there we go. There we go. Yeah. John Robinson is the correct answer there. And we're going to move on to the next now. We have a two way tie for second place. Show us the first hint. Hint OU's ass. Show us hint number two. Made in Hong Kong. Uh, Gary buzzes in. Cameron Dicker. Is it Cameron Dicker? <laughs> Whoa, Jerry, with another correct wow, one. Jerry, <laughs> Jerry came to play for us. There's some Ray recruiting tied into these questions, which is good. It is. It is. I agree with that. Some recruiting tied in. Yeah, good stuff. Jerry, Jerry just literally just sna he snared. He, he's got, he's won this first round now. Hey. Yeah, done. Uh, All right, let's see hit number three. Remember, he can lose points on the next one, but let's see hit number three. Has a lot of fun at hockey games, which we all saw his viral moment not long ago. And then hit number four. Name rhymes with his position. So good stuff, Jerry. Sure. The kid. All right, so after eight questions, Jerry has a lead of 200 points with 400 total, and Bobby and Rod tied for second at 200. Let's go to the final question in this section. And show us the first hint. Started north of the border. Hint number two, please. Has a 24 carat appendage. And number three, quarterback number, oh, Rod came in quick as soon as he saw that one. Quarterback number three on the roster. Rod, what do you got? Uh, oh, now I'm a little confused, actually. I hope I don't get this wrong. Quarterback number three on the roster. Um, is, 
It's Quinn. Is it Quinn yours? Good one, Rod. Got it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I was a little confused about it. it, it, it that number three on the roster, I was like, number three, yeah, 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 okay. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, we still lost, though. <laughs> Great <laughs> job, though, Roy. <laughs> Let's see the fourth and final hint on that one. From mullet oh, to okay. maturity. Okay. So that is the final question of that segment. Jerry, you're still in the lead with 400 points. Rod coming in second with 300, and Bobby with 200. So that's going to be the first round there. And guys, I just want to say if you're loving what you see so far, they're looking for sponsors for this show. So be sure to reach out to us. And if you'd like to support our efforts with making more episodes of that, we would love to hear from you and help with this absolutely amazing game show. With that said, guys, if y'all are ready for round two, we'll start round two. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, so round two. Ooh. So this uh, this one is called We Are Texas. So players have to guess how you, the Longhorn community, have answered the following survey questions. The most popular answer is going to be worth 300 points. The rest are going to be worth 100 points. Now, with that said, gentlemen, you only have two lives per question. We will keep playing until everyone runs out of lives or, of course, we clear the board. And we'll go in order of players from least amount of points to most amount of points, starting with Bobby. So let's I, play We Are Texas. And I have the a, first question here. I have a question. Who is the, I have a question. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead, Bobby. I'm looking at who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint. Is that, is that going to be the question? Is that the question? Is this mean a That Texas is correct. Player? Who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? I got it. Okay. So, right. Bobby, you get to go first here. I'm going with Kyler Murray. That's a good one. Do we have Kyler Murray? <laughs> Kyler Murray, 100 points, Bobby. Hmm. Uh, do I keep going? Do we yeah, keep no, going? Rod, you are going to be next. Who is the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? And it's a player. Can it? So, it's a player, not a coach. Can I go coach? Is that possible? Or we all play? Is it all player? Player only. Uh, all right, player only. How about mm, hate it? Maybe Adrian Peterson. Do we have Adrian Peterson? Wow, well, I'm a little shocked to see that one on there, but you got it right, Rod. 100 points for you. And then Jerry, you're going to be next. Brian Bosworth. That's Brian Bosworth, do we have him on the board? Got it right there. Right? Uh, so we're going to go back to Bobby now. Bobby, who's the most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint? I'm going to go with Michael Crabtree. Damn, that's good. Show me Michael Crabtree. Right. Nice. Points there for Bobby. Got it right. Rod, we're going back to you now. We still need four more. Yeah, that's good. Um, let me. Uh, me neither, none of y'all have gotten the number one one yet. I know that's tough. That's what I'm trying to think. Like, man, who's more hated than that? Uh, I just, really can't believe it. Okay. Yeah, let's go with. Is that a, a Roy Williams on there? Oklahoma's uh, Roy Williams. Go me, my, Roy Williams. That was a good one. Oh, oh, not good enough, though, Jerry. Rod, no Roy Williams. I'm sorry. All right, Jerry, we're going back to you. Most hated player from a Texas rivalry standpoint. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, this is tough. This is tough. It is tough. Rhett Bomar. Don't be cheating. No looking at the chat or anything like that. <laughs> Who you got, Jerry? Rhett Bomar. Do we have Rhett Bomar? Oh, no, we don't. I'm sorry. All right, Bobby, back to you. We still have four players. 
I need you to guess why one of them. Hmm. Why? Should be easy. So I, uh, I'm thinking of oh, you guys. Um, there's one I cannot believe y'all haven't said yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm I thinking, hold on a second. I'm going to go, oh, jeez. Baker Mayfield. Oh, yep. Show me That's Baker it. Mayfield. Number one. Number one. There we yep. go. No, no, no. 300 Is points. That, right? that was the number one answer in the survey. I, and with that I one, not, Bobby jumps back into the lead. I could not okay. remember who preceded Kyler Murray. I kept going <laughs> to somebody else. I'm like, that's not who I'm trying to think about. That's how forgetful that's he is good. to me. Let's just be clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, Rod, we're going back to you now. We End still have three players. Rounds. You have one life left. Who do you have, Rod? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking about Texas, Oklahoma, uh, Texas A&M, and Oklahoma too much. I'm gonna take a flyer here. Um, what about uh, RG three? Do we have RG three? Robert Griffin the third. Oh, Ooh. and yeah. with that one, Rod, you are out of this particular question. So, Jerry, you have one life to spare. Who you got? Teddy Lehman. Ooh. Eddie Lehman. Do we have Eddie Lehman on the board? Eddie. Eddie Lehman. Eddie. Eddie. Oh, Teddy. Yes. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Teddy Lehman. Yes, we do. 100 well, points for you, Lehman. Jerry. <laughs> so, Bobby, you know, there's still two more. Who you interesting. got? No A&M players on here so far, right? There might be. I'm going to go with Sam Bradford. I'm going to stick Show with Show me OU. Sam Bradford. Good one. Good job. Bobby's killing it. Yeah, Bobby. All right, Jerry, you have one life left. There's one spot left. Fill that spot. Man, that's tough. Um, Josh Heupel. Show me Josh Heupel. That's a good one, though, Jerry. And remember, this is what we remember. We pulled all the on Texas football listeners, message board members out there, watchers, whatever you want to say. And these are their answers. With that said, Bobby, you have a chance to really one up the competition here with another 100 points if you can get the last one. I'm going to go. I'm going to first one I'm going to try is Graham Harrell. Show me Graham Harrell. Really good. Got one life to live. One more guess. It's Bobby's favorite soap opera. It is. One life to live. <laughs> I mean, look, I could go with Cliff Kingsbury here, I think, but that's not. I mean, Texas beat him. Mahomes, I mean, uh, we lost to Cliffy in two in two thousand two, oh two. Did you? Remember? Yeah. Yeah, down well, in love him and Wes Welker. Is there a running back? There's not a running back. You mentioned Jerry mentioned Roy Williams at DB. Uh, Tommy Harris. Somebody Show like me that. Tommy Harris. I tried. Uh, well, y'all came yeah. close. Yeah. No cigar on filling up the board. Let's see that final answer. Reggie McNeil. Oh. Johnny we never played him. We never played him. Never, we never played, played him. him. Guys. We never played him. Hey, hey. Nope. Say, you can't take your like, argument up with me. Him. You got to take it up with the fans. That's these are their answers, not mine. <laughs> you never played Johnny. I was gonna say Johnny, but you never played Johnny. You still uh, that makes sense. He was the fifth most popular answer when no Texas fans about. were polled this question. On, <laughs> so, all right, so let, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Je Bobby went from worst to first now with 800 points. Jerry sitting in second place with 600 and Rod with 400. So with that said, we're going to move on to the next one here. And the question oh, is, 
from the 2023 Longhorns roster, who would you want by your side in a bar uh-huh. fight? And remember, we're going to start oh, with yeah. the lowest score and then work our way back up. So, Rod, you are first. Uh-huh. Oh, man, I know it's one of these two guys at the top. I just don't know which one's at the top. I'm going to go with T-Swizzle. I'll go with T-Sweat. That's easy. Show me Devondre Sweat. Got it right, 100%. Yeah, Not the top answer, but a popular answer nonetheless. Jerry, you're next. Oh, it's Byron Murphy, you number one. Byron Murphy. Number Byron one. Murphy. And Jerry and nails the top spot. Yeah, yeah. 300 points. Takes the lead with that answer. Now, Bobby, you have a chance to come back, though, and tie first place. What do you, who do you have? DJ Campbell. Show me DJ Campbell. <laughs> DJ Campbell is correct. Bobby, you got it right. That's 100 points for you. So you're back tied for first with Jerry. And uh, Rod, we are back to you now. We're still looking for five other names. Mm, bar fight. Uh, I guess we're looking for big guys with size. How about Kelvin Banks? See on there? Good one. Do we have Kelvin Banks on there? Rod got it That's right. Good. 100 points. Good job there, Rod. I'm a little surprised by this. Kelvin Banks a little low. I think people think that Kelvin Banks is like he has a calm demeanor, that he's, you know, kind of calm and cool and collected, uh, that he wouldn't be enraged and uh, get into a bar fight, almost like too intellectual to get into a bar fight. But I think he I think he would he would hold his own if he had to. <laughs> yeah. And, and the sixth sure. most popular choice there, it looks like. So all right, Jerry, mm. you are next. Golly, this is tough. Um, hmm. So it's what was pulled to the, the fan base. Yes, yeah. that is correct. These are all answers by our On Texas Football community. Ooh, okay. I think I got my well, name. then Anthony Hill will be on there. Show me Anthony Hill. Got it I- correct, Jerry. Back in the lead. But... Bobby, you have a chance to tie it back up once again. We're still Man. looking for three answers, all three of you with two lives still. We should fill this one up, I believe. I hope, anyway. Jalen Ford. Jalen Ford. Jalen Ford. Show me Jalen Ford. Ah. Well, we did all have two lives, anyway. I thought that was good because he obviously has short arms, powerful punch. <laughs> 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 I, I like your region. Unfortunately, the on Texas football community did not see it that way. So, Rod, we are heading back over to you. Who would you want by your side in a bar fight from the 23 Longhorns roster? I know that's somebody I'm thinking, but I don't know if the fans would be thinking like that. Um, is JT Sanders on there? JT, like he can know this old man. JT's kind of thick. Is JT on there? I like it. I like it. Show me JT Sanders. Ooh. The community wow. did not agree with you there, Rod. I did wow. like the choice myself. I thought it was a good pick. I'm a little surprised, but it is what it is. All right, Jerry, going back to you. Mm, man. Um, mm, scrappy. Tough. Baltimore, Maryland. Keelan Robinson. <laughs> Show me. Oh, man. <laughs> Rod, I can't even say it. Rod makes me laugh. Show me Keelan Robinson. I, I thought Jerry's that taking was pity on us now. Jerry's taking pity on us now, man. He's, he's like controlling us now. That's what's going on here, man. Jerry's I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to figure out this stuff out because it, like, you can't just go all offensive and defensive line, can you? That's, that's, I All think right. that's what they're doing. I, I don't want him to fight, but I don't know that he's going to beat. I, he's just he'll, he'll be by your side. That's Jordan Whittington. That's Show me Jordan Whittington. Win. That's good Great answer. That's on there. That oh, oh, yeah. that's not good enough. I like that answer. <laughs> though. Oh, I like that Time answer. For the I like that answer. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that was a I'm good answer. But I like your. 
I like your rationale. It's like, no, he's the old, he carries the torch for the culture. So he's going yeah. to be down to the last man, last man standing. I'm gonna go I, I like it too. However, Bobby, you have eliminated yourself from this question. So we are going back over to Rod now. And we still have three spots and two lives between you and Jerry. So let's see what you got, Rod. Okay. All right. Bar fight here from the 2023 team. <clears throat> Um, I mean, this guy gets swole. So I wonder if Longhorn fans are recognizing how swole he is. How about Baron Sorrell? I like how, it. Show up. me the Baron Sorrell. Oof. Wow. <laughs> well, Jerry, the good news is your uh, opponents are out. The bad news is you have one life. But you do have a chance yeah, to extend your lead. On a, by I another can go on a run here, and Rodney Terry couldn't call timeout. This is great. Um, let's see. Um, <laughs> uh, you got it. Uh, let's see. Ethan Burke. That's Show me one. Ethan Burke. Oh, what? You had hey, the chance. To they, did they go with me? What about Cam Williams, guys? Like, do people know him well enough. I, I, I tell you what, we're gonna we're gonna start here from the very top and show hey, us that first answer. Cam Williams. Cam Williams. Hey, there you go, Bobby. You're right, Bobby. <laughs> All right, show hey. us the second answer. Save me on the uh, end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We all we all agree with that, do we not? That would have been Joyce's first answer. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have Neto. All right. So, yeah. yeah. That was, you yeah. You had a chance, Jerry. You had a chance to really step on Bobby's throat, and you just uh, let it slip in between your fingertips, man. I just, I just uh, turned so it over in the red zone. <laughs> After uh, that, that one, Jerry, you still are in the lead, however, with 1,000 points. Bobby, you have 900, and Rod with 600. So we're going to move on to the next one now. And the question is, what is the biggest Texas football what if of all time, Rod? You get to start this one. Oh, yeah, that's pretty easy. What if Colt didn't get hurt yeah. in the national title game? Show me Colt McCoy's shoulder injury in the national championship against Alabama. Yeah. And 300 points. Great answer there, Rod. Great answer. So we're going to go over to Bobby now. Gideon's interception. Gideon's Ooh. interception against Texas Tech. Oh, that's good. Show me Gideon's interception against Texas Tech. Bobby got it right. 100 points job, there for Bobby Burton. So, Jerry, what's the biggest Texas what if? Texas tackles Michael Crabtree. I like oh. it. Show me Texas tackling Michael Crabtree. What? I'm shocked. I oh, love am shocked. I think we or all Michael are. Michael Crabtree doesn't score, maybe, but it's one of the two. Yeah. Oh well. No, I am completely shocked. That makes me I wonder if I can too. Re, uh, redo that. Wow, oh boy! Rod, you're all next. right, Rod. We're gonna go back to you. <laughs> Biggest what if? Oh man! Biggest what if? What if Nick Saban came to Texas? Oh. <laughs> I like it. That's what if Nick Saban came to Texas? Time, multiple times. Good one. Great. Bam, the oh, second man. most popular answer. You've gotten two of the most popular like three there. Great job, Rod. Bobby, we're going to head back over to you now. All of you tied up with 1,000 points. Man. What if Texas takes any one of like six quarterbacks over a 10 year period? <laughs> Tell me what if Texas takes any of them about six quarterbacks. That's, that's I mean, any of them. My oh, goodness. 
Johnny Manziel. Wow. If Texas would have Apparently, they're telling me the producers are telling me, Bobby, they need you to be a little more specific. I'll say Johnny Manziel would be a Longhorn. Johnny Manziel, do we have that on the board? Oh. Mm. Heartbroken. Is you lost? This is a Taylor. tough one. This is a tough one. All right, Jerry, going back over to you. Your time to shine. Let's see what you got. Man. Um, mm. I mean, I guess what if Texas had beaten Texas Tech in 08? What if Texas had beaten Texas Tech in 2008? I guess that was technically 07. Mm. So uh, you're out of this one. This is y'all's chance to step on Jerry's throat. Rod, we're going to start with you. And you have two lives okay. left. You've been doing great so far. This has been your game right here, Rod. Yeah, this is what you do in sports radio, though. This is That's why I know sports radio, this is all we talk about. What if this happened? What if that happened? That's, that's, all, that's why I got to look up on these guys here. Um, what if Chris Sims redshirted? Oh. What if Chris Sims redshirted? Do we have it on the board? I might get a heart for that one. Mm. That was a good one, though. Uh, yeah. That was a good one. The on Texas football community did not agree, however, so we're going to go back <laughs> over to Bobby. <laughs> so I'm between two answers here, and I can't. I don't want to give the other one away. Um, what if Texas would have taken Andrew Luck? I'll go with Andrew Luck instead of. Show me Andrew Luck. Damn. Thank you, Luck. This is 100 points. You live for one. another question here. Rod, we're going to go back to you first, however. What's the biggest what yeah, if? That's good. That's, a, that's good, man. Honestly, I might – I don't think – there's two answers I want to go with here, but I'm pulling stuff from my day, and it seems like these the, the fans are not necessarily – Harkening back to to my day in terms of the what ifs, seems like they're a little bit more current with their what ifs. Because I want to go back to some stuff from my time. But I think that's wrong. I'm gonna go with. I think Bobby's on the right track here. Um, what if um, what if RG three comes to Texas? Do we have Robert Griffin coming to Texas? Oh, we do not. I'm out. I right, have Bobby. Okay. You have one life left in this game. We need four answers. Can you do it? What if Sark not hired? Oh. Oh, I should have went with What if I Sark is not hired? Oh. oh. I, think, I think it's not on here tonight. Damn it. Was it her based on it? I, I got to say, I'm, I'm just as curious as y'all to know the next four. So let's start at the bottom row or the bottom there on the left side. What what answer do we have? Curry oh, catches good the one goal point. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, that's, yeah. That's a national championship. I wasn't going to get that, that one, get yep. that one anyway. yeah. Let's go back up to the top here. Yeah. Adrian Peterson ah. for Texas. That was a good one. <laughs> that was a good one. And then second to last answer. Vince oh, stays yeah. Here. How did we miss that one? Yeah. <laughs> and then last but not least. Don't run into uh, the kicker what? against Colorado. Oh, I was going to bring that one up. I was going to say, what if we beat Colorado in the game? But I wasn't going to get specific about my man, Philip Geiger, running into the damn kicker. We're going to do it. But I threw him under the bus anyway. Sorry, Philip. <laughs> Odds out for the rest of the co contest with PTSD. Oh, man, you're right, man. I was really going to go. I said, I'm not pulling stuff from my day. I was going to go to 2001. And I was going to go to, I was going to go, what if he started said B from the beginning? Remember, he set said yeah. B to after the uh, Texas OU game. And then said B still wishes yeah. for 1,000 yards. And then think about it, in that game, said B got hurt. Mike Williams got hurt. We had two first round guys get knocked out of the game. That, yes, that should have been the what if, guys. What if our two first round offensive players didn't get knocked out of the damn game? Then concuss each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. That was good. Hey, by the way, well, that was good stuff. All right, we're gonna move that's on. A lot of 
That's got to be the only time in history of college football two first round picks knock themselves out on the same play on the same team ever. That's never hey. happened before. It'll never <laughs> happen again. I, 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 I crazy wait, about it is, remember. They, they, do you not? Do you remember the play in the in the uh, Rose Bowl where I think it was Terrell Brown and uh, Michael Griffin? Michael Griffin. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I remember that. I was like, oh boy, they're going to have to defend this. And, and because this USC team. scored on that play. Yeah, Dwayne Jarrett yeah. did. Yeah. And, Long- and Longhorn fans will always blame Chris Sims for Mike Williams and Sid Benson knocking yeah. themselves out of the game because they yeah. were chasing down a guy who had just gotten yeah. an interception. Yeah. All right, y'all. So at the end of two of our three game segments, it is neck and neck. Bobby with a very narrow lead with 1,100 points. Jerry and Rod nipping at the heels, tied for second with a thousand apiece. This Mm. is anybody's game here. So let's start the final rounds. Round three. All right. All right, so this one is time capsule, gentlemen. This is the, like I said, the final round. In this game, we've taken snapshots from some iconic moments in Texas history. Y'all are going to be shown these snapshots, but the pictures will be very, very zoomed in, and they will slowly zoom out. You guys must ring in and guess what moment these pictures are from. This is the one where you must include the year. That is very important. Got to have the year correct. Are you questions will be worth 300 points. However, if you miss it, you will be penalized 300 points. You can only buzz once per per photo. And this is the final round. So these points most likely going to determine the champion. So with that said, guys, let's play the game and time capsule. We are going to start here with our first photo. Jerry buzzed in. Oh, that was all three of you. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Jerry got the oh, wow. first, though. Jerry, what do you got for us? Uh, Rose Bowl win over USC in 2006. That, let's see if that is correct. <laughs> Jerry got it right. Ben Chung in the Rose Bowl, 2006. 300 points for Jerry. Jerry retakes the lead with that one. So we will move on to the second one now. Or actually, let's let's zoom. Oh, I thought they may want to zoom out and, and see the entire photo, but there we go. There we go. Iconic moment in Texas history for sure. All right, we'll go to the second question now. And let's start that photo. Bobby, what do you got for us? 2023. And you cut out on us. What what, what is it? Devondre Sweat's catch. Is it Devondre Sweat's catch in 2023? Correct. Yep, good stuff. That's it. That is correct. Bobby with 300 points. If they'll, we can see that photo there. Definitely another iconic moment. 12 championship against Oklahoma State. The big man touchdown. All right. So with that said, Bobby retakes the lead with 1,400 points. Jerry with 1,300. And Rod with 1,000. And we're going to move on to number three. Let's see that photo. <laughs> Bobby, was was very it. quick on that one as well. What do you got for us, Bobby? 1969, Richard Nixon shootout game over Arkansas, awarding the championship to the national championship to Texas. And Daryl, yeah, that was very right. specific. Is it correct? Yeah. <laughs> Bobby got it right. 300 points. Good stuff, Bobby. And we'll see that photo real quick. 
It went black and white, guys. There's only so much I know in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Bobby was going to was going to nail that one pretty early on and he didn't let me down for sure. So, all right, we're going to move on to question number 4 now. Or photo number 4, I guess I should say. Oh, that was a very quick, all of you at the same time, but Rod, just a second ahead. Rod, what do you got for us? Uh, this is uh, Bevo um, going after Ugga um, after the 20, I'm oh, sorry, before, excuse me, the 2018 Sugar Bowl. But, but is, it is that correct? Oh! Oh! Yeah, Jerry? if Rod's right, the Sugar Bowl's played in 2019, technicality. I know Is I that said correct? 2019 after I said 2018, so. Jerry got it right. 300 <laughs> points. Oh, Rod, on a, as Jerry said, on a technicality. Just so you know, Rod, I'm not deciding who's correct and who's not. Bobby was by the way, by the way um, Attack uh, Uggas, they break in a new Ugga in Austin next year for another butt kicking. All right, keep going. Oh, right, so Bobby wow. was 1700, Jerry was 1600, and Rod was 700. Still anybody's game, as we have a few more left, and each one's worth 300. So let's go to the next photo. Rod buzzed in first. What do you got for us, Rod? Is this Stony Clark goal line stand 1994? Is this Stony Clark goal line stand 1994? Nice, Rod. I got it right. I'm glad you got that. I was going to guess 95. I'm glad you got that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job there, Rod. We're going to move on to the next. We still have two left, gentlemen. And show White us. jerseys in the even, even years, Jerry. White jerseys in the even years. Good point. Good point oh, that's good to know. Good stuff. Shoot. Okay. Gary Hamilton, you buzzed in first. What do you have? Mm. Earl Campbell, mm -hmm. Heisman Memorial Trophy speech, 1977. Is he correct with Earl Campbell's Heisman in 77? You got it right. Three other points. You take the lead with that one. And gentlemen, we are down to the final question here. Jerry with 1,900, Bobby with 1,700, Rod with 1,000. And uh, we will see this final photo now. Ah. Bobby, you buzzed in first. Uh, we won it on the on the last second. Dustin Tucker field goal win two thousand and thirteen against Texas. Is it Justin Tucker field goal win two thousand thirteen? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, I missed it! Oh, oh you missed it! Yeah. Oh, he gets it. Roll negative 300 points. Oh. Bobby's beside himself, kicking himself right now. So next Ooh. that buzzed in was Man. Rod. Wow. Justin Tucker game winning field goal 2011 against Santa. Oh, Is it Justin Tucker in 2011? 
Boom! Oh, Rod gets it right oh. and a chance at redemption all here himself. <laughs> Justin like, Tucker I beats the X. I was actually I was, I was on the sideline for that game. That's how I remember. I'm somewhere on the background there. Somewhere is me back there. I'm like I know the random girl on the sideline when they won too. I like randomly embraced this random girl. We were both just we hugged for like 30 seconds. I didn't even know her. Never never met her in my life. Haven't seen her since. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So with that final question and with oh, 1,900 God. points, the sharp dressed man himself, Jerry Hamilton, it is your winner. Jerry, we need to, we need to hear the winning speech, please. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm the third best going in this game. I got, I got lucky tonight for sure. Um, you know, maybe the suit brought it home. I don't know. But I would like to thank the Academy for all their support over the years. Um, I'd like to thank the Riders, Green Guild, uh, and everybody out there in L.A. for making this happen. Thank you. I, I was hoping it wasn't going to wasn't going to get too long. I was going to have a uh, play you off the like stage. for bringing us next week's read. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So, Jerry Hamilton, our big winner from our first game night there. And, um, guys, let's, let's just start. I'm going to let you all talk a little bit about what your, your performance and your opponent's performances. Rod, I'm going to start with you. Um, yeah, I thought I, I thought I did pretty good. I think or I started, got to a slow start. I think I had to dig myself out of a hole for most of the game. And then, you know, obviously the, uh, the sugar bowl answer put me at a deficit as well. I mean, I knew it was in 2019 said that, but I said 2018 first. So I got to get used to it. I got to use the format a little bit, but, uh, I actually thought, you know, I did pretty good. Bobby's got a big advantage on the, the black and white photos on everybody. Um, Jerry's got a big advantage. Jerry's recruiting knowledge is so, you know, ex expansive, right? Uh, he had so much knowledge when it comes to recruiting that he got an upper hand on everybody early. Some of the hints had recruiting ties. Yes. My man Jerry jumped up on him real quick. So I think Jerry started out hot, and he never really cooled off. He, he was consistently – I think he deserved to win because he was the most consistent, and he started fast, and he finished strong. All right. Bobby, what do you have to say for yourself? I can't believe – I was sitting there thinking it's been 13 years, and I said 2013. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm thinking right now. And now I'm going to rue the day tomorrow when I have to talk about something that I don't ever want to talk about. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, I, I, Maybe Jerry, I, I got to ask, when you heard him say that oh, year, just how giddy were you on the inside? I Are you talking to me or are you talking to Jerry? And no, I, asked, I, I don't think, I don't think, I'm sorry. I, I don't think Jerry heard me. I said, Jerry, when uh, when you heard him say the wrong year, how giddy were you on the inside? Well, uh, good for a second, but I thought it was 2012. So, <laughs> you know, glad it wasn't me either. I'd have answered the wrong too. <laughs> I, I, like I said, I, I remember. I remember the year. Yeah, I remember because I was on the sideline. It's the only reason I got it right on the money. And I remember Johnny has his breakout year in 2012, the year uh, right after. They played you know what I remember right? going also to that about that That's the year that Billy Lucci was on the sidelines and got caught on the TV camera yelling at the <laughs> rest of the whole Remember that, Rod? It turned into a pretty funny. I think you're right about that. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, it was fun, fellas. A lot of fun for sure. We'll have to definitely do some more of these. Yeah. I got to give a uh, shout out to Chris Chan and the Visual Courts for partnering with us at On Texas Football to bring us this awesome game show to our Longhorn family. Thank you to the On Texas Football community for being a part of this by answering the surveys. And thank you guys for watching for sure. Like I said, we want to start doing more of these, but uh, if, if you know anybody you'd like to sponsor, if you'd like to sponsor yourself, you can reach out to Bobby. Uh, if you're definitely interested in doing so. So, gentlemen, before we get out of here, any parting words? No, best man won. Fair, fair guy. I thought the questions were really good, too, by the way. I thought they were well they done. Were the questions, questions. All that. I like awesome. the format. It was fun. I actually learned something. <laughs> it was great. Oh, that's always good. It's all right, y'all. Well, it, thank it, you, it, you so much for watching and tuning in, and we will see you next time on College Football Game Night Longhorn Edition. Welcome, guys. Welcome.